So in Space for Nature, we're using the latest technology, in this case, high-resolution Earth observation, coupled with citizen science understanding of habitats on the ground to create a whole new way of mapping and advancing the recovery of nature in our county. So let me introduce uh, Dr. Anna Andrews. And Anna's working on the, the very high resolution imagery that we're collecting up in Space for Nature. Um, Anna's an expert in this, and so I'm gonna hand over to her um, in a few moments. But really, this is just to show you the type of step forward that's happened particularly with this very high resolution imagery. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have here um, an image of high resolution, very high resolution um, of one of our ecological sites. We will have data of, uh, of this area saying that uh, we have a scrub or different type of trees. So with machine learning, we can capture similar uh, habitats from other sites within uh, the same region uh, without the need to go in situ to collect the data. The citizen scientists really give the sort of ground truthing for this earth observation, yes, don't they? Yeah. We can see what we can see with earth observation, yeah. especially the hot, very fine detailed one. Yeah. But then there's, there's no substitute for having people on the ground who yeah. then say, yes, that type of habitat is exactly there. Yeah. And then the, the AI, the machine learning system, will will be calibrated properly mm -hmm. and yeah. then it, it, it can then be applied in much wider land areas yes. to look for particular types of habitat that it's, it's, it knows, yeah. it's learned are those types yeah. of habitat. So the data which are coming from the citizen scientists will play a role for calibration uh, satellite data but also to validate because in any process of machine learning we need a number of validation yeah. in order to come up with some um, accuracy level of, of, the, yeah. of the results.